Today I'm going to be doing a video talking to you guys all about sponsorships. I get a ton of questions from you guys on how I get paid from YouTube, how sponsorships work, what I mean when I'm usually disclaiming in my videos. I'm sure a lot of you are curious to know how YouTubers get paid and how they get free products and all that stuff. So today I'm going to give you the inside look, I guess you could say, on sponsorships and all things inside the YouTube world. My look is switched up a little bit. I filmed a get ready with me. Make sure you stay tuned. I tried to do something with my hair but it completely failed so I just have these really messy like beachy waves so. Anyways I'm just gonna kind of wing this video and tell you guys basically what a sponsorship is and different ways that you could get sponsored if you're a YouTuber and I'm also gonna be showing you guys something that I received. It's a subscription service, a new beauty test tube which is so cool and I actually got from one of the services that I'm going to be talking about. So first things first, what is a sponsorship? A sponsorship is when a company will reach out to a YouTuber and offer them compensation for a product or to talk about a product or review a product or anything like that. YouTubers get paid through either a network, which a network is a company that either manages you and helps you get sponsorships or basically they optimize your channel and give you tips they take a little bit of your pay now youtubers will get paid based on views there isn't a set amount for any youtuber basically just it goes by the more views you have the more money you will ma be making through YouTube or your network. But relying on views, especially when a YouTuber is trying to make a career or a living off of YouTube, YouTube views aren't always efficient and they range from month to month and it's not really a set amount. So then there's sponsorships. Now a lot of people get mixed up sponsorships and getting just free clothing or free products. YouTubers and bloggers and reviewers and even on Instagram, Instagrammers, we will get some products like for example, I got sent this shirt from Ramwe. I'll have it linked down below. We basically get opportunities to be sent clothing pieces to make hauls or out for the weeks or makeup items to do get ready with me's and feature them. A sponsorship would be if, for example, this get ready with me, I got products sent from Smashbox. However, I'm not being sponsored by them. If I was, they'd say, here, Adiel, I'm sending you these products and I'm gonna give you $100 to do this video. Sometimes that is the case and sometimes it isn't. Now, there are many services that can help YouTubers get sponsorships and off the top of my head, I love Famebit, Revfluence, Grapevine, and Octoly. I will have all those links down below for you to sign up if you're a YouTuber. Basically, on all of those platforms, you basically sign up for an account out fill out a little bit of your information for YouTube and then you can go and there's brands and it says how much money they're offering for what kind of video and you can send in proposals and interact with the brands and see if you can get free product or money. Now this is I know a very controversial topic and I wanted to do this video just to inform you guys so you can get the insight on why YouTubers do these sort of things so that we don't have to be afraid to post a video or or disclaim in every single video and be like, hey, these were sent to me, but please don't kill me. Many people get offended by them. The truth is, when I started out YouTube, I was not aware of sponsorships at all. I started in third grade and I had a channel and then I think when I was in fifth grade, when on my old channel, I started getting getting paid per view. So going into this channel, I knew you could get paid per view, but I never, ever, ever knew that, hey, you could get free stuff at your door, or you could get money for reviewing a product 
I never knew that and a lot of youtubers never knew that either now there is a part to this that is kind of bad because anyone watching this maybe you even could be watching this and be like oh I, I like watching YouTube videos but making them isn't my thing but ooh, money is involved so I'm gonna do it sadly there are people on YouTube that are doing it for the wrong reasons so yeah that can be some motivation for people to start now that they know but I feel like everyone has this outlook that isn't a youtuber that when a youtuber does a sponsorship they're a fraud or they just they're just doing this for money and all this sort of stuff YouTube is a hobby and even if you started it for the wrong reasons I doubt someone can have a full channel and upload regularly and just do it for the money because YouTube really is just an amazing community where we can all connect and we can all do things and share things and it's just amazing but YouTube can also become a career and it's not to say like oh I'm only doing YouTube for the money because it's a career it's a way to live no I'm pretty sure I speak for most youtubers that make it a career we do it because we love it not just because we want to make money because we could do any other career and make money you know what I mean and I feel like people don't put it in their perspective like what if you were a youtuber and you got offered these free clothes I don't know one person that would turn that down YouTube has evolved into a business and of course it's a hobby but now it's ways for companies to market for way cheaper it's way more expensive for them to go make a commercial than to sponsor a youtuber or to give free products I could speak for myself and a lot of youtubers that just because we get paid to do a certain video doesn't mean we're gonna lie to you or say all these things that aren't true I get a product I love this product and I got it for free I would never be like oh my god I hate this product and then get in front of the camera and be like, oh my god, I love this product just because they're sending me money. That is not how it works, and we have control over the company to say, hey, look, I, I don't feel comfortable doing this, this isn't me, and we don't have to put it up at all. I don't have to show this product at all. I myself, I love watching YouTubers' videos and finding out about new products or new apps, and just because they were sent to that person it doesn't make a difference on how they like it for example I've always wanted to go out and try this Smashbox primer water but I just never got around to going to the store and spending money on it but if I went and I spent my own money on it I would love it just the same Some brands they look for exposure and they want to be able to have their products out there and there are some smaller cosmetic companies that have absolutely amazing products but they don't get themselves out there because they don't have the exposure so now instead of going and doing like a billboard or some magazine advertisement they could say hey Michelle Fawn I want you to share with your viewers my product and that gets them so much exposure now youtubers can get sponsored $25 for a sponsorship or 10,000 it all ranges and it depends on view count and subscriber count and all that stuff but that just helps us make it a living I myself I want to become a full-time youtuber one day and finish school and never have to worry about it again and just have all the time in the world to just be a full-time youtuber but let's be real here if we youtubers weren't getting paid it would be impossible for us to be full-time youtubers because we need that source of income. I feel like people have such a negative outlook like, oh, she got that for free. Ugh, I'm just gonna exit out of this video. This is all lies. And I as well as many people, uh, many YouTube friends that I've talked to have gotten attacked for getting free products sent. And I think people fail to realize that, hey, if I was this YouTuber, I would totally take that deal. That's an amazing opportunity. And we get all these opportunities from you watching this. You're the reason that we're getting paid or that we have anything. I 
genuinely cherish the relationship that I have with you guys so much. You're the reason that I get any of these opportunities. You're the reason that I have this and a lot of the products that I use in my videos or that I haul. And I'm extremely grateful and blessed and I'm so appreciative of that that I would never sit here and be like, oh my god, I love this product and then turn off the camera and be like, ew, this is the worst product ever and like never use it again. I honestly can say that I don't know one YouTuber that has ever lied to their subscribers about liking a product. I'm sorry if I sound like a little harsh or like I don't even know if I'm coming across in a wrong way. Just I'm trying to explain the aspect because I feel like we get attacked so much on YouTube. It's probably so annoying for you guys to watch like 10 different videos with audible.com sponsoring someone and them saying the same thing. We all get pointers sent to us when we get products and some people are better at kind of like hiding that they're sponsored than others, but I feel like it's ridiculous that we have to find ways to hide that we were sponsored so that someone doesn't go, hey, and like attack us. I like to be as open with you guys as possible and be like, hey, these were sent to me. There's always that fear that someone's gonna be like, you're a fraud or you're this or you're that. And now my advice to you if you're going to start doing sponsorships and if you have a YouTube and you're gonna start doing sponsorships is definitely space them out. I wouldn't say do like a sponsored video every video because people unfortunately will notice. But I'm gonna move on to like more of my tips and more about those services that can help you. Now, if you have an email address in your description, that's where companies can contact you and email you and be like, hey, I like your channel. I want to send you some things. Let me know what you want. Now I talked to you guys all about those services and Grapevine, Famebit, and Revfluence are all the same kind of idea. But now I wanted to share Octoly with you guys because Octoly is really cool. Basically, I'm not sure if they have sponsorships. They have something called a free store and you could select items and they get sent to you and you have to complete a video by a certain date and you could keep on getting free products. This isn't sponsored. I'm just gonna show you an example of something that I picked out from the free store that I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was so cool. This is a New Beauty test tube subscription box. And it comes with a New Beauty magazine, which is so cool. There's just a lot of, um, makeup tips and just cool things you know just a beauty magazine and now the subscription box comes in this little box right here and the first thing i see is a color therapy lock and protect leave-in treatment by bio silk so this looks really cool i've heard a lot about bio silk actually so then we have the actual subscription box now i really recommend this and I wanted to share it with you guys because if I didn't have a YouTube and someone showed me this, I would definitely purchase it with my own money. So it's like a tube and I just thought this was like the coolest thing. Okay, so inside we have some like beauty lifestyle stuff. So the first thing I see are like biotin bursts in, I don't know how to pronounce this, acai berry. Sorry if I mispronounce that, but these look really healthy. They're supposed to help your hair, skin, and nails. Here we got some collagen. I've heard this, but it's some skincare drink. Interesting. This is like very, a very natural box, I could tell. And I'm not super into like skincare and like natural stuff, so. Hmm. Smells interesting. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but. Here we got a teeth whitening treatment. Um, three day weekend whitener. No strips, no trays, no sensitive. Here is, I'm pretty sure this is a face mask. Yes, a face mask. Love face masks. Uh, this is the Bio Exidia Miracle. 48 excellent gold face and body treatment. A lot of benefits. So we have another facial mask. Ooh, this is like from Tokyo. Here we have a body wash, mango, yummy. 
And lastly, here is a really pretty magenta-y glittery nail polish that matches my lips. So here's just an example of like the free products that YouTubers are offered. So I've never heard of this, so if another YouTuber made a video of this and I watched it, I would be like, ooh, never heard of that before. And it kind of just brings exposure and yeah, I really like this too. I definitely, I definitely recommend this if you're really into like skincare and health and eating healthy because they have a lot of lifestyle things in here I guess you could say. So yeah, that's pretty much all about sponsorships and basically YouTubers making money and YouTubers getting free items. I think we all get kind of like a bad rep for promoting products and being sponsored, but I can promise you right now that there are no bad intentions ever. YouTube has evolved from a hobby video making website and now it's transformed into business opportunities and a lot of cool opportunities. So yeah, it's definitely not anything to be concerned about or be annoyed about. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!